I have not seen a human being. And it's almost like I'm in a campground after the apocalypse or something. It's just <laughs> really a weird feeling. Um, one thing that I could do today or tomorrow, but any time, uh, would be another oil change. Oh, I'm picking out a thermos for you. Not an ordinary thermos will do. But the woman was too high in. I keep it simple. No hurry, let the wind blow. I need to research where maybe I could uh, camp for the night tonight. Oh boy. And gave up on camping for tonight and made a room reservation. Day 15? God, I, who knows. Um, on my way to Ohio to see my birth family. Those of you who are watching the series will recall when I was in Bismarck, North Dakota. I stopped and visited the hospital where I was born and uh, that I was given up as an infant for adoption uh, because of the circumstances of the time. And, I mean, lots of circumstances. You're talking, you know, just the circumstances of two young people, um, but then also the circumstances of a family at the time, and then, like, just the socio-political circumstances of the time. It was 1969, and things were different. Um, anywho, I'm meeting my birth family today, which is really cool. And I'm excited about that. And I'm living the dream, you know? I woke up this morning thinking, all you gotta do today is ride a motorcycle and avoid that sh outlet mall over there. Oh, if I could just live another day to shop at one more outlet mall, please. <laughs> Sorry, I'm feeling a little saucy today. Um, so packing up rain gear, hopefully don't need that today. And, you know, one more shower. It's funny, like I get into a room and I shower right away and then I sleep and then the next morning I shower again. It's not like I got dirty in these clean sheets, but I just, I really appreciate showers. Um, conflicted about that though you know I mean I went past Lake Mead and Lake Powell and they're really low so how many showers does a guy need right I probably should be thinking a little bit more seriously about my own actions there but anywho um, I don't have anything else to share right now it's time to get moving oh breakfast is provided by the hotel because I got status no everybody gets it Something else I think I should point out, uh, this belt, I've been putting it in this hole for the longest time, and this morning it pretty easily went into this other tighter hole, which there's been a time in my life where I used that hole a lot too, but, um, huh. That's awkward and unnecessary. Just getting the bike loaded up this morning. I used the, you know, the Bellman's cart, even when it's not necessarily that fancy a place. You know, they still have, uh, still have carts like this in the lobby. Makes it easy. Like, this is fast. I don't know that I can load it any quicker at a campsite with the bike right next to the tent. 
because I don't have to screw around with the tent and the uh, drop cloth underneath it, the tarp, and there's a lot I don't have to mess with when I go into a hotel. Um, so then that this hassle of going up and down the elevator with this stuff isn't that big a deal. So I'm also in need of an oil change any time now. Uh, I can stretch it another 500 miles, but um, as soon as I see a Walmart, I'll probably stop and do it. Okay, return to the cart. <clears throat> we'll do our little rear tire check thing. <clears throat> oh, I gotta do the chain loop. I should have done that last night. It's all right. Well, this is still a tread pattern. Only about 6,000 miles to go. Maybe not that many. 5,000. Hmm, we'll see. I'm so darn pleased with myself that I remembered this thing this morning before... Uh, before trying to roll the bike. <laughs> That's usually how I remember it's there. <laughs> one of the my personal most dreaded places which is big box retail um, this is one of the like every minute I'm in a place like this I think I'm gonna want those minutes back at the end of my life but you know you got to get some things once in a while it's just as as somebody who studied marketing and professionally done marketing my whole life um, I just see the psychology behind all of this Oops. and uh, you know it's it is psychology there's a mind game going on all the time at every turn to get you to open your wallet but there are also things you need in here. So I guess it's just a mindset, but it just bugs me. That's just me. I'm weird. Okay, here we go. Ding, 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 ding. wonder when a guy could get away with using that super tech oil. Anyways, I gotta stick with what I know. I knew this works and I need a little funnel funnels you'd think they'd be near here gas gauge funnel nope 
Hmm. I don't think this is the aisle either. Okay, so I'm not finding anything in automotive, oddly, that makes sense for the narrow opening on my motorcycle, but I'm gonna try something here. Okay. Kitchen. Let me see. My eyes are looking where the camera is not. Ba -ba -ba. People. Uh -huh. There you go. Perfect. That'll fit great. Ooh, nice price for a throwaway item I'm not going to keep. Oh, look at that. Who knew there was two? The price is even better. I might keep the smaller one. I got room for that. And now you might say, what about a drain pan? I have a plan for that. Although some of these bowls here are pretty damn cheap. But uh, you got to be able to pour with it. You know, this you could pour with, but it's, I don't need that many of them. And then this is like the super dollar cheapy one, but there's no way to pour with that. They're playing, I think I'm in trouble by Lindsey Buckingham. I cannot think of the last time I heard this song, but I always dug it. Okay, so here's where the real cheapy drain pans are and they're out of them. But, again, I've got another idea. The V-Strom holds 2.6 quarts of oil. I could use some water anyways. That's 80 cents. And it's a nice plastic container that I can fashion a pour spout out of. Now I'm listening to Joe Jackson stepping out. I'm saying, hey, Walmart, nice job on the canned music. And look who picked a shady spot. Right on. So the bike's been cooling a little bit so the oil isn't really hot, but it's warm. I'm gonna put these down over the stains in this asphalt that are already here. I'll save some of this drinking water. And I'll drink some of this drinking water. Oops, a little full. So being conscious of having to fit underneath the bike, but at the same time preserving 2.6 quarts worth of volume here. I'm gonna cut this top off. I can always trim more away, but I don't want to go too short. I'm thinking that's 2.6 quarts. That's about a quart. And it's still got some rigidity in it because of this. Look, I left a little pour spout. Now, hopefully it fits under. Yeah, it does. Barely. I have to access the uh, wrench from this side. All right, so the trickiest part here is gonna be reaching that drain plug because uh, my container is so tall. But I think I can manage it. That's why the towels are down. Man, that was close. But it's enough. Um, I don't know what the laws are in other countries, but in the United States, Generally, if you sell motor oil, you have to accept used motor oil. So uh, they do sell it here, and they also have a, a oil change station where they do lube service. So um, I can give it right back to them when I have to move my container to get that oil plug in. Yeah, that worked. Take that off. Snug it up. All right, old oil's out.
new oil going in. And so I just used the gauge on the jug to get close, and then I gotta tip the bike to uh, see the level in the sight glass. Yeah, that's about level, and it could use some more. more that's good and so how do you think I'm returning the oil yes I'm gonna waste some good oil in here but I'm gonna dump the bad stuff right on top of it then it's in a nice sealed container to return it to them and I brought these old Jersey gloves which got wet and are kind of soppy, soapy, so they smell horrid, but uh, they'll protect my hands from the heat. And the key here is to maintain a shape. You know what? I don't think using that little handle as a spout is a good way to go. I think it makes sense to go the other direction. Do not try this at home, kids. why I got the towels. Okay. You go in there. You get capped up again. You get wiped up. So the last step is to um, take a picture of my odometer so that I can remember for the future um, when I change this oil and when I got to change it again and I can put it in my journal when I get home. Okay, so to address those of you that are saying, well, yeah, but you still spilled a little oil um, through your shop towels. You didn't capture all of it. Well, yes, that's true. So, you know, here in the spot next to me, there's an oil stain from a vehicle that's just leaking oil. Uh, here's another one in the spot next to it. And, you know, the spot where I was changing oil is probably double in size now, granted. And then there's one more thing, um, asphalt. What do you think asphalt is made with? That's correct, petroleum oil. So... Not the end of the world here from an environmental standpoint. This all gets recycled and reused. Um, yeah, maybe there's some storm drain runoff somewhere here. Let me think. But, you know, is it any worse than all these other vehicles that have leaked oil here? Like this one. You know, I don't know. You be the judge. I just know I needed an oil change, and uh, all that oil is getting recycled right now as I walk it over to the lube station. So there's my quart of oil, and then I talked to the guy. I had to go inside and sign something that I had dropped it off, and that's where they put it, and it gets dealt with properly. Bye-bye.
parked in my birth grandmother's garage near Dayton, Ohio. And um, I have had the most amazing time. Um, I don't know. It's just, it's always so profound when I'm with uh, this group of people. How do I tell this story? You know, I've already mentioned in previous videos that I was uh, adopted as an infant uh, back in North Dakota, but at age 33, I got in contact with my birth mother. And long story short, turns out that, you know, I was the product of uh, two young people um, and, a, and a pregnancy, but those two young people went on, got married, were married for 25 years, had other kids that are my 100 percent siblings and I'm they were all here uh, and I've been hanging out with them you know out of respect for their privacy I'm, I'm not showing them on video but I've been spending all of the second half of yesterday with them um, so sorry not really a continuation here um, the timing's all screwed up on this. This my summary is actually happening the day after, but I'm, I need to wrap up this day, and so it's been great. Um, a nice, profound. It's what I've been saying is I'm I'm drinking from the fire hose of profundity, uh, hanging out with with these people who really are on some level completely new to me. And yet I feel like I've known them my whole life. It's fascinating. Um, I'm in my grandmother's house and I feel like I've been coming here my whole life. It's the first time I've ever been here. So very cool stuff. Um, sorry that this video is a little bit odd. I, I just had to get selfish with it and, and make it more about my experience than your guys' experience. So um, goofy episode, but it's been great for me and at least I get to share this much with you. But today uh, we get on the road. Wait, I'm going to start a new video. I'm on another day now. Hey, thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.